What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah, back with another video. So today, we are going to be reviewing a house here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte prices are kind of crazy right now. Um, but this house, it is listed for $3,071,000. It is a five-bed, five-bath, 5,254 square feet home the lot that it's on is 0.61 acres and there is no hoa from what i can see right now it is i believe a new construction is built in 2024 okay, before i get started guys please understand that i'm a north carolina south carolina virginia and georgia real estate professional and none of these comments are made with any ill intention towards any of the parties that are in this transaction so please don't take them to heart also if you guys need any assistance buying selling or investing in any of your real estate needs don't hesitate to reach out to me i will do whatever i can to assist you so without any further ado let's go ahead and hop into the review i'm hoping that my computer holds up i haven't dash recorded in a couple of weeks so let's go ahead and get started okay so this is the house and honestly guys like i'm a little bit biased right now just because like Homes like this always catch my eye, especially like just driving in Charlotte, especially like around like the South Park area. I feel like I see these homes everywhere. And this has a lot of like curb appeal to me. Like I love the white brick. I like the black accents. The lawn looks amazing. Like there's very little that I could say about the outside of this home that would be like, oh, I don't like that. I think that the, the outside presents very, very well. The only thing that I can say as of right now that I don't necessarily care for is that it is so, so, so close to your neighbors. You probably are gonna have enough room to put a couple of cars. However, you can literally see in the pictures how close your neighbors are. And I can, I can say when you are driving in these areas, especially if it is in South Park or, you know, Providence or places like that, your the homes are so large. It's like you are, you're, you're going to have people right beside you more than likely. Okay. So here's your garage. It looks like it's a three car garage, which is, you know, expected for almost $3 million. I wouldn't expect any different. I love the big tree that's next door or next to the house. It looks very nice. Okay, just another side of the home. Looks like it has like a grayish bluish type of look to it. I don't know that it could be black. It looks a little bit of a like, a like a really, really dark blue color though. Looks like, I don't know why the this type of brick looks a little bit different. It could be because maybe, uh, uh, maybe there was like dirt or something that was up on it and it maybe like changed the coloring of it just a little bit. Probably it'll go away over time. Okay, so there's no furniture in this house, so we can see that. But, oh, guys, if you guys ever reach out to me and you wanna see homes, if I review the house or if the house that we're looking at doesn't have um, furniture, that more than likely means that it's vacant and we should be able to just go ahead and see it. So that's a plus for sure. I know sometimes when I'm showing homes, it is an appointment that is required. Now you would obviously have to book an appointment with me, but we would also have to book an appointment with the person that owns the house so that we can get in there if they were still living in it. So I really like this kitchen. Um, I was kind of expecting for it to be a little bigger though. From And I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, jump ahead of myself. I was, I'm just expecting for it to be a little bit bigger than what it is. I don't necessarily like this type of stove. I'm not sure. I feel like there's something missing in the back of this. I feel like food would get everywhere and it's just like, it's white back there and it probably just wouldn't be, I don't think that over time I would end up liking that. But it is very, very, it looks very luxury though. Very, very luxury. Love the island. The island is super big. So this is the refrigerator right here. I know sometimes people will look at homes and they're not, they're not sure where the, the refrigerator is, but it's here. Some homes, that are at this price point, they will have a, the refrigerator built into the cabinets. And I like the way that it looks. If you guys have seen me in one of the videos on my, my brokerage page, you saw that I, I did a, a walkthrough for, I think the house was listed for like 1.5 million or something like that. And it had a refrigerator just like this. And that was probably, I think that was one of my first times seeing it like that. But now it's just like, okay, yeah, it's just, the refrigerator is right here. Like it's pretty easy to point out now. But I always, I think that that's pretty nice. I think it's cool. I think it looks like makes the house look seamless. You know, um, my only problem with homes that are this like put together, it's like, how do you put, how do you make this into a space where 
you feel like at home. And I might be thinking like that just because it's vacant and there's no furniture. But I love the the lighting. I like the hood above the stove. That looks very, very nice. You have plenty of cabinet space. I'm always an advocate for wood floors. I think that's perfect. I'm seeing some wood beams at the top too. Always, always, always love that. I love when builders just keep it simple. Keep it super simple. Wood accents, black accents, white, mostly white interior. And I'm seeing a black room. Like if you guys, I'm, I'm trying to get into wearing other things besides black and white, even though I'm wearing white right now. But that's like my go-to. I feel like it's so easy just to like, you know what I mean? Make it look good, you know? But I'm seeing a black room right now in this house and I feel like that's going to push me over. Like, okay, like I like this house, you know? The stairs are super simple like that. Uh, okay, I know for a fact we're not going to just skip past this room right here. I'm, we have to, if we don't go back and see this black room, I'm going to dock it so many points. Like it's going to make... It's gonna make their head spin. Love this room. This is gorgeous. Like this, this fireplace. Do you guys know how many fireplaces I see that just look like they just need to be torn? Like just rip it all out. This looks really nice. I know it's a new construction, but this looks really nice. I like the lights too. You will put a TV here. So this is more than likely the living room. I like the cabinets. Definitely, definitely some nice touches here. So they didn't put a ceiling fan or a, a light right there. Now, sometimes they don't do that so that you can put your own. I feel like people would probably want the light to already be there. But I mean, I don't, I don't dislike that they didn't put it there because it gives you the freedom to put whatever you want. Yeah, it just gives you the freedom to just do whatever you want right in that space. So that's why this is it's just covered right there. It's so that you can put lighting, ceiling fan, all that good stuff, whatever you want to right there for the most part. Nice big old living room though. Love, oh, the windows. And then it's covered. Yes, yes. These builders, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. They, they're definitely sitting at like a strong nine and a half right now out of 10. A strong nine and a half. I feel like any of my clients, they would absolutely love this house. They probably wouldn't be too be too big of a fan of the price point, but they would definitely love this house. It's super nice. Okay, so this is just like another, like a tiny, um, I'm gonna have to put it here. I can't think of the name right now, but this is just like another, like a, almost like a separate kitchen, but it's not really a kitchen. Um, this is nice though. I haven't, out of all the houses that I have reviewed, I have not seen this type of space in those areas. So that's a good touch for sure. And honestly, why wouldn't they show us the black room? Okay, I like this. I love the windows. The windows are so nice and huge. Like who doesn't like natural lighting? Like this is a, a absolute must. 5,000 square feet in a house. Yeah, we need big windows. I don't like this light right here. <laughs> But I, 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 it's it's hard for me to be like, I'm a docky like two or three points just because, you know, this house has this light right here. You can change that out. But yeah, I like I like it so far. I like how simplistic it is. Mm -hmm. They did their, they, they, whoever this builder is, they, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. I am usually not a fan of marble type designs, but this works. They just, they kept it, they just kept it in the shower area. They even put like a different pattern on the floor. Thank you. I feel like when it's all around, it's just too much. Like you're just trying too hard to make it look like luxury. I love how big the sink is, the sink area. They got some gold in there. So this is, ugh, this is so nice. And they got a tub. I feel like I would do backflips in the tub though, because it looks like it's, it's like one of those just like egg shaped ones. Yeah, this is super nice though. Super, super nice. And then look at this light right here. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yes, big old closet, big, big, big closet. Love that. Mm -hmm. Got a little area for you to sit down in. This reminds me of like those stores um, that you can like obviously try shoes on at like Shoe Show or DSW and <laughs> places like that <laughs> where you can just sit down and then like there's usually like a little or Nordstrom rack. There's usually a, um, a little like mirror right here or something. That way that you can see how the shoes look on your feet. Oh, the room, the black room. Yes, uh, yes, this is beautiful. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. See, and y'all never see me react like this for the most part. 
with these houses. You know, I'm I'm a pretty harsh critic when it comes to houses. If you guys don't know, I, like I said, I'm licensed North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia. I look at a lot of houses, okay? Even when I go to school, my I'm currently studying for my master's, right? Or I'm in a, my master's program. The concentration is in real estate. Even when I'm not working, as a, an, uh, a a realtor, a broker, an agent, when I'm in school, I'm still learning about real estate. <laughs> so I guess I can be a little bit more of an, a harsher critic because I see so many of the same types of things. And this, you, some people are so afraid to just go, like just do the black, just put the black. I feel like they, they did good with this because it has huge windows, it has natural lighting, they have gold accents. It's not completely and totally black, but the majority of the room is black. And I think that the natural lighting is a key, key, key factor for that. Now, if this didn't have any windows or if the windows were super small, yeah, it might be, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But I feel like this is done very well, honestly. Okay, another room. Okay, I like the chandelier. It's probably, you could, maybe it's like a dining area, potentially, or just like one of those areas where they put dining tables at but they don't actually use it i feel like if you're going to pay three million dollars for a house you need to utilize every single little area in the house don't just let it collect dust i'm not too crazy about this backsplash but i mean i feel like it works this why does this okay so so far we've seen i've seen at least three dishwashers i feel like two or three dishwashers this is probably like i don't even know what this area would be called they probably would do like beverages or something around here okay so it's just like an area that you can sit in, put your put your jackets and your shoes from when you come outside. There's a random desk here. I don't know why they did that, but I mean, I feel like, hey, if you, more than likely, if you got a house that has five beds, five baths in it, you probably got some kids, okay? Or at least you got, you, you're doing something, something, right? Tell those kids, hey, come in, take your shoes off, sit at that desk and do your homework. So, hey, that's the scenario I'm making up in my mind with this because why else would you have a random desk? I like that it's built in though, so you don't really have to worry about going to go purchase one, I guess, because you already kind of have one. Okay, so this is a whole nother, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is probably in the same area where, um, right? Why is there another random, why is there a refrigerator right there? I could see it just being like the washer and dryer room, but now there's, it's like almost like a studio almost, like what's going on? Okay, a bathroom. Okay, we got a little pop of color like that. Like a tur turquoise color. I like that. That's nice. It's probably just a half bath. So it looks like it's in right when you come in the house. So it's not a five full baths that we can see. Okay, so we're upstairs. Like this is the entry to the attic. I never go up there, guys. I don't go in attic. Just Aaliyah. Aaliyah, if you decide, hey Aaliyah, I want to work with you. I want you to write this offer for me. I want you to show me this house. I want you to, you know, represent me. Honey, I'm going to let you know right now I'm not getting in the attic. I'm just not. I'm, a, I'm going, we're going to get us a inspector and they're going to go up in the attic. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. That's not what Leah does. Leah, get, I get you money. You feel me? I, I make sure that you're not overspending on your house. Okay. But now will I get in the attic for you? <laughs> but yeah, here we go. This is the, the top, the top area. Super simple. Super, super simple. I'm trying to figure. Oh, okay. This is a, what? Who is a big old room? Is this the master? Why is this room so large? Like, oh my God, is this even a bedroom? Like, what is this? They, that could be a whole movie theater. Hey, this is a bedroom though. This is a bedroom, this is nice. Okay, another bedroom. That's the only room that has carpet. Why would they put carpet in there though? I never understand like when builders will put carpet in one area, but they won't put it in another area or even designers or whoever is doing this, this type of work. Hmm. And I don't like the ceiling fan. I feel like they should have put a black ceiling fan structurally there's really nothing that we can really point out as of right now that's wrong with this house so that's why i'm not critiquing the build like the actual build of it um they put another white ceiling fan Oof, mm -mm. we ain't doing it uh -uh. okay we don't really see too much of the room okay two double sinks i feel like that's that's super super important so that tells me that there is potentially like supposed to be like a guest room you know so i like that i like that because you wouldn't, I mean, you, I guess you could put a child in this room, but I would expect for a child's room to have just one sink, unless this bathroom is connected by two rooms, but I don't think that it would be. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that the, these two rooms are just connected, like probably right here, and then there's probably another door behind us. That way, if there's like siblings, then they could just share a bathroom. Oh wait, maybe not, I don't know. 
Okay. I mean, that works. That works. I mean, we just saw like a super, super, super large bathroom. I don't know if that was downstairs. I would assume so. But sometimes, you know, other agents, they don't necessarily put like the pictures in a way that's like you would, as soon as you walk into the house, like you would follow. It's almost like the pictures are in the same way that you would, you would explore the house. So I don't know, maybe I'm a little lost, but yeah, this is definitely a different bathroom though. I think that this looks good. I like how they did the tiling and everything. I don't like the floors though. Really, really don't like the floors. Okay. This is nice. This is nice. Super simple. Another washer and dryer area or a laundry room. Another bathroom that looks nice. This bathroom probably doesn't have a tub, just a shower, but it's still nice. I, I do like it. I like the way they, they kept it the same as that one that we saw earlier. I like the, the sinks. Yeah, I think that they did they did well. Okay, so just to add it. So you could probably just finish this and, and do something. I don't know how, how large the or how tall the height is, but you could probably do something with that if you just if you didn't want to just use it for storage. Okay, so this is outside. You have like a built-in grill, patio, you go out and entertain. So there's one of your neighbors. I'm surprised it doesn't have an HOA. That's kind of crazy. Nice big backyard. Oh, that is such a commodity here in Charlotte. Like Oh yes, mm -hmm. this is nice. This is very, very nice. I would definitely sit out here. I probably would never, I would, you know how many gatherings I would hold for my, my family? I'll be like, hey guys, come on down. Like, let's have a cookout. <laughs> oh, I love the backyard though. The backyard is so nice. I really value stuff like that. You know, being able to actually enjoy your space. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Okay guys, so that's the end of this review. If I had to give it out of 10, I probably would give this house about, a seven or a ten or seven or an eight so probably about a seven and a half i really really like it um there is probably there's very little that i can say about this house that i don't necessarily like i do wish that you know the neighbors were a little bit further away but honestly like that's not really that big of a deal you have a very large backyard i feel like i'm not surprised at the price point just because Charlotte is a is a pretty expensive market. It's not a cheap market. The average home that is sold is about three hundred thousand to almost four hundred thousand dollars. So you might as well say three hundred fifty thousand dollars here. So I mean, it is what it is. You know, that's just the way of the market right now. And you know, the if you can buy, you can buy. If you can't, you can't. So. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys for tuning into this video. You guys are amazing. The support that you guys have been showing me is crazy. Like I have been on YouTube for a very, very long time, not on this channel necessarily, but I have another channel that, you know, it took me a little while to get to that point to where I am. I'm about 17,000 on that channel. So just trying to build this community and really get my name out there in the real estate world. So I appreciate all of the support, honestly, like, I really, really, really am passionate about what I do every day. And I'm glad that I can share all of that with you guys. So thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. If you guys do want to work with me as a buyer's agent or a seller's agent, go ahead and reach out to me. Like I said, I will leave my contact information down below. My email is also here. So if you want to utilize that, you can as well. But <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.